I have no idea how long this sippy cup has been under the bed. This room is gonna be a whole vibe. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. Today, we are in my bedroom, and we're gonna be doing some massive decluttering. I have so much stuff that my room is just so hard to maintain and keep clean, so I told myself I'm starting the new year with a minimalist space. Now, I'm gonna put quotations around minimalist because I do also share this room with my three kids, so I can't exactly become a minimalist per se, but I have a lot of stuff I can get rid of and just make this room a lot easier to maintain. We've been in here for three years now. We've collected a lot of stuff that honestly can go. Really quick, I want to show you guys what my room looks like before. Lots of clutter. It's messy right now. That already looks so much better. My plan when I declutter this room is to just work around the room. So the next place I'm gonna focus is over here around my nightstand and also declutter the drawers of my nightstand. Inside of the drawers, I have used that space to store some of my daughter's clothes and a lot of it she's outgrown, so I'm gonna go through that. In this drawer, I just have all of her undergarments, her new socks and underwear she got for Christmas. And then down here, I have all of her pajamas and then a few little like sentimental things that she got when she was a baby. Her first pair of shoes. One of you guys gave her these moccasins and just some other things. She's got her little dress up outfit in here that actually needs to go with the toys, but that is done now coming on around we have this dresser to work on this is where i keep the boys clothes and this is what happens if i don't declutter it often i think a lot of it they can still wear but i've got some decisions to make because obviously we can't keep all of it and the drawers just won't close so i think what i'm gonna do instead of taking all the clothes out like i normally do is just do one drawer at the time so that i don't get overwhelmed like a circle that floats around me keeping me safe and sound and when i fall you tied a rope to me you're blessing me every day i was down so this is a bag of brand new socks and underwear that the boys got for christmas i just was throwing it in this bag because it wouldn't fit in the dresser all of their old stuff was taking up way too much room so now that it's cleaned out, I can finally put all of their new stuff up.
onto this little bookshelf that's by the door. I need to purge books. I need to go through every single bin that's on this bookshelf. I need to go through that shoe basket right there. These are sheets I'm probably going to donate because I just don't really care for them. I might see if my mom or my sister wants some. This is a jacket Ray got for Christmas. I need to put away. These are some little cutouts the kids painted a while back. I'm going to put these up. And this is like a bow organizer but we don't really use it to organize raised bows we just throw them on a bag and we have them here on the shelf so i'm gonna donate this So far, this is everything I have pulled from my bedroom. It's a lot of stuff. So here's what the bookshelf looks like now. I'm very pleased and happy with how much I pulled off of this thing. Close the store. My kids are watching a movie. So I decluttered all of the bins. We've got some of their books there. I was able to put some of my books. And these are just some things that were sitting under my desk on the floor. So I just moved them to the bookshelf. And here we've got swim diapers. We've got her regular diapers and overnight pull-ups. In this bin, we've got puzzles, dry erase, books that we can use over and over. These used to be canes, but I'm going to save them for Ray so she can use those when she starts doing preschool. Moving on around the room to what used to be my work desk and then I made it into like a get ready spot. I would do my hair and makeup here, but I have since started doing something else. I put all of my makeup into a caboodle box and so I just do my makeup wherever around the house. And so I would like to make this back into an actual work desk where I can sit and edit my videos. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by taking everything off this desk and only putting back what is work related and everything else I'm either gonna have to donate or find a different spot.
loving how clean and minimal my desk is looking. It's making me want to come in here and edit some videos. I already had this on my desk, but I was using it to put like body sprays and some of my makeup brushes on. So I took all of that off. And now I just have this greenery plant. This was in the bathroom and I just pulled it from the bathroom. And then we had another one that looks better in the bathroom. So I traded those out. And then this is a little dry erase block for the month of February. You can change out the date. I've got my meditate candle and my silver play button and then just my laptop it is getting pretty late in the evening it's dinner and bath time so i'm gonna lay the camera down for tonight get this stuff sorted through tomorrow i'm gonna pick the camera back up and we will declutter under the beds i'm a little scared because i have no idea what's under there So here we are, day two, and honestly, I'm dreading this so much, but I do know that I'm gonna feel 100% better, and I'm gonna be so glad when this is all done because I'm already feeling the positive energy that is coming from having a clutter-free room. Sorry, my dog is barking, but what I've gotten rid of so far just feels amazing. And I actually came in here this morning and edited a video and it was just really nice. Like this room is gonna be a whole vibe when I'm done. So anyways, let's go ahead and start pulling things out. I'm gonna start with the kids' bed first because I don't think theirs is as bad as what mine is. I found the cute puppy under the bed. no idea how long this sippy cup has been under the bed but it's going in the trash as for the rest of this i pulled out a few little toys clothes diapers that my daughter has shoved under the bed these bags are seasonal clothes and these are clothes that she wears on a regular basis So all that's left under here are the two bins that I keep her clothes in. So these are like her tops and outfit sets. And then these are all of her bottoms, pants, leggings, shorts. And then this bag over here is just some seasonal clothes. These are like old t-shirts and shorts that she can just wear to bed. So I'm gonna put these over in her pajama drawer. And now to get under my bed. So something that was under my bed and I knew was down there was my ring light. I don't use it very often, but I do use it sometimes. So I'm just gonna put the plastic pieces back on it that have popped off. And then I've got a bag that this actually goes into and I'm gonna put that back under the bed. I also found this 
old Twister board. We don't have the game, just the board, which is really odd. I don't know what happened to the game or how the board actually got under my bed, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trash this. These are the boys' Nintendo Switch boxes. I always hang on to the boxes so that if something happens to their Switches, I can take it back to the store. And most of the time, they're pretty good about replacing the Switch with the warranty, so I always hang on to these. I'm gonna go ahead and slip these back under the bed. I found this old duffel bag that I actually really like, but I need to wash it because it's covered in dust. There's another bag inside of it that I might actually donate because I just don't see myself using this anymore. But this I'm gonna go ahead and put into the hamper so I can wash it and use it again. This I found under the bed. I'm not sure what it's doing there, but it looks extremely small. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I would save it for Ray, but she actually has one. So there's just really no need for me to hang on to this. A manual to one of my vacuum cleaners that I really don't need. And this goes to an old Halloween costume that I, I think I'm gonna donate. So I am all done with this bedroom declutter and it feels amazing if you have a space in your house that you want to declutter but you're just putting it off like me i put this room off forever because i knew it was going to be a lot of work and i knew i had a lot of stuff in here but let me tell you it feels so good and so worth it in the end to declutter my mind feels free i actually want to be in here now the hallway is full of so much stuff i can't believe that i even had that much stuff in here to begin with but it is all out and it feels amazing before i end the video i'll make sure to show some satisfying before and after clips thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a butterfly emoji in the comments down below just to let me know that you watched until the end i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye